Hi, this is a five-minute farm doc about the expectation of a historic second corn crop in Brazil, also called safrinha, which means little harvest in Portuguese. I am Joana Colucci and I'm going to present an overview of the corn harvest that just started in Brazil. It's important to highlight that more than 70% of the corn produced in Brazil is from the safrinha, planted right after the soybean harvest, typically in January and February. Brazil is the third largest global corn producer and exporter, behind the United States and China. By the way, if you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to get new video updates. Brazil's second corn crop is expected to produce 3,465 million bushels this season, 45% higher than last season when Brazil was affected by drought. That total would be record-breaking according to the time series data from the National Supply Company, a agency in the Brazilian Ministry of Agriculture. Brazil may produce a historic crop even though April and May were drier than normal. Corn planting the summer suffered because of low soil moisture in some areas. Despite this problem in some areas, the early planting of second crop corn allowed crops to develop better than the last crops in most regions. Yield declines in drought-affected states are offset by gains in other states. Brazil is expected to have yields of about 85 bushels per acre, 32% higher in comparison to last season. In relation to the last 10-year average, the expected yield for these years is 5% higher. In addition to the expected good yields, a 9.7% increase in plantant area is another factor that will help Brazil break the record in safrinha production. The plantant area this year has exceeded the 40 million acre mark for the first time. This year's acreage increase is similar to the variation last crop season, when the plantant area rose 90%. The expansion in corn acreage this year was primarily driven by the increasing profitability of the crop given current high domestic and global prices. In an average harvest season, corn prices in Brazil generally fall, has harvest peaks during June and July, and new supply comes into the market. However, corn prices could continue to climb in the coming months following a global price spike. The U.S. corn production in progress will determine what prices will do in Brazil. So far, the American crop has had problems with late planting and a lack of rain in some parts of the Midwest. The current price trend is also associated with the war in Ukraine, which has disrupted port operations and commerci commercial activity in the Black Sea, sharply increasing uncertainty in the global corn market. The start of this year's harvest coincided with news that Brazil and China had completed negotiations for Brazil to begin exporting corn to China. The Asian country has traditionally imported corn from the United States and Ukraine. The two countries signed a phytosanitary protocol in 2014, but China has rarely imported corn from Brazil since then. The major impediments to trade are the long shipping time and the high freight costs. It has been faster and cheaper for China to import corn from the US and Ukraine. However, Russia's invasions of Ukraine has limited its grain exports, and Brazil, being one of the largest exports of corn, could meet China's demand. 
You can read more about this topic in an article written by me, Gary Shinitki, and Kar Zulaf. A link is in the description of this video. And if you want more content like this, please like and subscribe to get new video updates. See you next time!